Okay, so one of the biggest changes for console 2.0 is the new flows page, which really makes it easy to visualize devices, functions, integrations, where your devices are sending data, all of that. So for a quick walkthrough on flows, you've got the menu over here, you can add devices, functions, integrations, configure alerts, ADR, multiple packets, CF list, <clears throat> as well as organizations, check your data credits, buy more data credits, and users as well. Also, you have a couple different menus over here. One is just the this plus button that shows up on every page. Very quick shortcut to add device label function or integration, as well as a nice little get started with console. Um, same kind of thing here, just another way to add those or manage those devices, integrations, functions, invite other users, those types of things. So once you have created your labels, devices, functions, integrations that you want or at imported devices, added devices, up here in this node section, if you just click this little plus it drops down so you see the labels we have, the different devices, the functions, and the integrations. So if we just drop this label down, one thing you need to always make sure to do before you navigate away from the flows page is to make sure you save changes. Very easy to forget that, but it, it won't let you, it'll remind you, but still good, good um, practice. Bring your functions down, bring integrations, different devices, all of that down. So now we have these things. And again, we can have multiple functions. We can have multiple integrations. You can put everything on this flows page. But so I have a label with test device one and two under that label. I have test device three here. I have one decoder and I have one integration. So if I want my test devices to again, be sending data through this function, this decoder. I just hover over the little circle here, make sure the cursor turns into a plus, draw the line to the circle on the decoder. And now those devices are sending data through that decoder. If you want it to get to that endpoint, so you can actually see the data, do the same thing here, draw that line. Now, What's cool is you can see this flows, basically this flow of data through the decoder to the integration on the flows page. You click on, if you click on an individual device here under that label and go scroll down a little bit. So I'm under test device one, you can see the actual flow right here. So test device one, it's under the test devices label it's sending data through this decoder to the endpoint right here. You're also able to, this is a dummy device, so it's not actually sending data, but you're also able to look and see, um, you know, packets being sent, data being sent, as well as uplinks, downlinks, all that stuff here. And this will, again, this will show up when you have devices that are actually sending data. So if we go back to flows and I have this test device down here, we can, multiple things can be sending data through the same decoder. So like this test device isn't under this label, it can also be sending data through that decoder. If you are, um, if you have an integration, if you have an endpoint that decodes the data at the endpoint, you don't need that decoder. You can draw the line just from, straight from the device to that integration, to that endpoint and bypass the decoder. There you go. So very simple to do that. Now, if you want to change this, say this test device right now, I have it going through a decoder and straight to an integration. Um, if this integration, if this endpoint is decoding the data at that endpoint, there's no need for this decoder. So if we just click on this line here, which is called an edge, it's a selected edge, remove it and boom, so now that test device is just sending straight through there. So a lot of different ways to 
visualize. You can move stuff around, you move it, play around with it however you want. Um, it's actually kind of fun to do this. Just make sure you save changes each time. And if you want to take something off, say I'm, I'm done, this device isn't working for me anymore. You just click on that device. You can remove the node. Boom, it's gone. All right, if I want that device back, you can go up to nodes, devices, that was test device three, drag it back down. And there we are.